Hi everyone. In this session, I'm going to give you the demo of this application, iBeam Auto Connection. This application creates connections to all the selected members in the model. Just for an example, I'm selecting the members of different profile types and different combinations and click collect data. What happens is that it collects the data of primary and secondary profiles and you can see the connection type here, connection number, and these are the predefined settings. Once I click insert connections, it will apply the connections to all the selected members. Now you can see here, this is the connection between Grafter and Perlin. And this is the clip angle connection, base plate connection. This is two sided end plate. And again, base plate connection, bolted gasset. This is the shear plate, 185. And this is beam to beam, two sided end plate and splice connection. And again, this is clip angle connection. We know if we have to apply the connections, we need to pick the primary and secondary members. In most of the projects, we use similar connections to members at different locations. So when we have a predefined settings, it will be very easy for us to create the connections to all the members in the project. Before I explain how this application works, let me just show the benefits of using this application. First is consistency. Auto connection ensures uniform application of connection. Next is speed. Applying connections to members significantly reduces the time required. And the third one is efficiency because auto connection optimizes the connection process by quickly applying predefined settings, improving overall workflow efficiency. Next is accuracy. Reducing manual input minimizes the risk of human error, ensuring connections are applied correctly and accurately according to the standards. And next is standardization. By using predefined connection templates or settings, auto connection maintains standardization across projects. Last one is flexibility. Because auto connection settings can be customized and reused across different projects allowing for easy adaptation to various design requirements and saving time in setup and execution. Let me show you how this application works in the background. When you select the members and click collect data, it is actually reading information from this auto connection Excel sheet. So you can see the different combination B to CF, which means beam to column flange. And uh, you can see join types and the descriptions here and let me go to the auto connection rules so i have already set up this auto connection rule settings primary profile primary name secondary profile and secondary name if you have two secondary parts that's what you can see it here and this is the uh, connection type whether you are applying beam to column web or beam to beam web or beam to beam flange or base plate connection or splice connection Perlin single and you can see the list here. If you want to understand, uh, you can go to the options. So to use this application, what you need to do is you have to create this connection in Tecla and then save the settings. These are all the file names. For example, if I just double click and open one of them. And if I go there, you can see I have already applied the connection and saved the settings. This is the file name which I'm using it in the Excel sheet. It is very important that you don't leave any field blank. And if there is no data, just fill that field with iPhone. And now you can see the combinations here. I have included most of the combinations that we use it in Tecla. If you want to understand much better, I have created the, the Word document. So this is beam to column flange and this is beam to column web, beam to column web double. And you can see the picture type to help you understand join types.
So this Word document and auto connection rules are included in the package and you have to copy this file to your model folder. Let me just minimize this one. I'm going to apply this connection to different profile types and different combination. Let me delete all the connections and let me select the members and window style vertically so that you can see the connections. Collect the data. And click insert connections. Let me keep it on the other screen so that you can see when it applies the connection. And you can see here. So this is the splice connection. And here it is a clip angle connection. And this is two sided end plate with the base plate. And for the Z profile, I created the settings to apply with the fly brace. And this is a splice connection. And here you can see the bolted gasset. And you can see a two sided end plate again. And this is a joining plate. Punch connection. And this is the tube gasset. Just imagine if you can create connections to all the members with the click of a button, how much time it is going to save you in the project. If you have any specific questions, feel free to get in touch with me. And thank you for watching this video.